Hello, good evening. How are you today? Good. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, who do we have? Today we have Jessica, it is, and here we have Gabriela. Hello, Gabby. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jessica. Hello, it is. Okay, good. Ready for another class? Okay, ready to yeah. start. Ready to start the week. Also, right. It's another week. How was the weekend? Was it good? So so. What did you do? What do you do during the weekend? Did you go to the movies? Did you go to the beach? Did you stay in your house? Uh, huh? The meeting, uh, you were in a meeting? Okay, yeah, meeting at work or meeting in the office? Uh, I mean, in the house or in the school? For Did you live in there? In the meeting? Was in San Jose, Guayabal? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, fine. And then uh, what else we have? Okay, uh, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you today, Carlos? <coughs> I'm working. Study a lot of okay I'm studying in the class now. Okay, ready. <laughs> ready to start. Good. Okay, fine. Let's see what we have for today. Okay, we have this one. You're gonna let it, okay, here. Okay, so here we have, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you will also learn how to express years. Okay, this is what we were talking about in our last class. Okay, using uh, questions with the past of B. Okay, and then we watch this video. No, se escucha, profe. No, okay. Yes, give me a minute. Yes, I forgot to to share. Se me olvidó compartir el sonido de la compu. Yes, now you will. Thank you. 
with the past of B. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years 1906 1917 1999 2001 To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was. Or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so this were the... The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past. Okay, so these were the examples that they showed us, right? It was just in the, where were you born? Was your brother born? And were your parents born? And then there were WH questions, where were you born? When was, what? And then we were practicing with why, who, how, okay? All the WH uh, questions, right? Question words. Okay, and then we had a, now we have a knowledge check, but before we do the knowledge check, I want to know if you have questions. Alguna pregunta? So we're going to be in past tense. Or did and do. Okay, remember that where was, who was, is ser o estar, right? And did is para todos los demás verbos. Where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Where did you study? Donde estudiaste? Where did you play? Donde jugaste? Where did you go? Okay. Pero no decimos, where did you was, okay, now. Este did con este was o este did con este where nunca se mezclan, okay. 
No problem. Let's see. Okay, so we have, uh, where were you born? So we have, let me see, six, one, two, three, four, five, six questions. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six answers. Which one is for the first one? Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Hey. Yeah. Next one. How was your first day of school? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Yes, the first day. It usually happens. Who was your first friend in school? She was really friendly. She was really friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. You said mm -mm means something. <laughs> you said mm -mm tiene significado. Okay. Her name was Yumiko. Her oh, name is was Jumiko. Her name was Jumiko. What was she or what was he like? He was, she was, he really, was, friendly. was really friendly. She was really friendly. And why did you take this class? I want to improve my English. I wanted I, to improve my English. My English. Yes, I wanted to improve my English. Okay, and it says, I want to improve my English, submit. Okay, as you can see, all of them are correct. Okay. No problem. And then you can see where were you in Hiroshima. So you can answer sometimes, I was born in Hiroshima, Japan. It's not necessary sometimes a long answer. A short answer is okay. Okay, or you can say also in Japan. More specific, in Hiroshima, okay? Where did you grow up? In Tokyo. Uh, how was your first day of school? Uh, a little scary. Uh, who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. Her name was Peter. Okay, just give the name. And then she was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. Okay. A Gabriela, would you please read this lesson objective? By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural away using negative, negative contractions. Yes, negative contractions, that's correct, okay? This is the, um, for pronunciation, right? It says you will learn to sound natural, okay? Natural when using negative contractions, okay? Using um better pronunciation okay so here we're going to practice pronunciation hi everyone in this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart aren't weren't don't can't Two syllables, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee 
and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Can't. Aren't. Weren't. Contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Okay, listen to this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight contractions, right? And after we're going to practice that. Okay, pay attention to the sounds. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. Okay. Now we have aren't. Is it aren't? No, it's aren't. Uh, aren't. It's very being minimal, right? Aren't. Weren't. Say no, weren't. Okay, no, weren't. Don't. Can't. Isn't. Isn't. Wasn't. Wasn't. Doesn't, doesn't, and then we have didn't, didn't, doesn't, okay? Who wants to practice first? We need a volunteer. I... Okay, okay, Iris, go ahead. Okay, um, aren't, okay. don't, weren't, can't, isn't, wasn't, mm, doesn't, mm -hmm. didn't. Didn't, okay, good. For me, it sounds good. Okay, anybody else? Uh, I... Okay, Carlos. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, uh, wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay. Continue. I. Okay, Edith. Good. Aren't, don't. Weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. And didn't. Okay, very good. Good, good, good. Anybody else? Jose? Aren't, don't, weren't. Can't, isn't, doesn't, was, didn't. Didn't. Okay, very good. Um, Gabby? Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't. Wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Right. Very good. And in the next block, we have Wong. Wong, Wong, it's your turn. Aren't, don't, weren't, 
can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, excellent. And then, Jessica. Sarai. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. And didn't. Okay, good. Jorge and then Johanna. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, uh, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Perfect. Okay, Johanna. Okay. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. And then, these are, you know, isolated. I think there is no problem with this pronunciation. And then you have it here. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These are in their swimsuits, they can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, he isn't here today. Okay, so I have in this picture here, I have four people, five. Okay, Carlos, you read the first one, Jose the second, Juan the third one, and Gabby, you read the fourth. Okay, go ahead. Uh, they didn't and didn't because they weren't hungry. Good. Okay. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. All right. This aren't they speak swing, they can swing. They swim suits, they can swim. Good. She Gary. was here yesterday and he isn't here today. Here today, very good. Edith, the first one. Then Jessica, uh, Jessica, I don't know if you're there. The second, it is the third, and Herman, the fourth. Okay. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Okay, good. Jessica? Continue it, please. Read the second one again. I mean, okay. Two. Okay. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Thank you. It is the next one. These are the they can't swim. They can't swim. Good. Herman. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Very, very, very good. Sarai, the first one, Jorge, the second, and Joanna, three and four. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't the swimsuit, they can't swim. He was here yesterday and he isn't here today. Today, okay, good. Only this word for everybody, swimsuits, swimsuits, okay? Uh, let me see, coffee, only this one, swimsuits. Okay, aquí hubo un poquito de penalio, but no problem. Okay, guys, good pronunciation, very good, excellent. Very, very, very nice. Okay, then, this is, I don't know, this is the one. And then in the next one, uh, Edith, can you please read the next uh, objective in the 5.8? Okay. 
by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH question with did, was, and where. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, very good. Now we are going to listen and practice a conversation that we have here for more pronunciation. And after we're going to do our own, okay, our own uh, questions. Pay attention to, to these questions. Where did you go? Where did you grow? How old were you? I grew up. Okay, and then you are going to interview, interview one of your classmates. Now listen. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, what. Okay, first the conversation, right? Uh, questions about the vocabulary? ¿Alguna pregunta, oración, o algo nuevo en el vocabulario? Uh, grow up. Grow up, el pasado de grow up, de crecer. I grew up in Texas. Me crié okay. que sí en Texas, right? Um, I grew up. What was your major? What was your major? ¿Cuál era tu especialidad? ¿A la que uno estudiaba? Por ejemplo, uh, I graduated uh, in English, but uh, my major is education, right? Education. Uh, con especialidad en la educación, right? Not only la pregunta... Oye, ahí Ajá, perdón. Eh, Pedro, este, y mayor <coughs> también significa otra cosa, como un grado de un cargo de alguien. El mayor es el alcalde, pero... Uh -huh. eh, let me see. You write that one. Oops, wait a minute. I don't know if I can find it here with a Y. Let me check. Esa se escribe con J, right? Can you see it? Mayor. Se ve en la pantalla, no. Mm, no. No. Okay, then. Uh, okay, then I will put it in the chat. Okay, este mayor es el alcalde. Con Y. Okay, y el mayor con J. Aquí está ahí en la conversación. Okay, you said. A ver, puede ser como un grado. And academic, right? So, una especialidad. All right. All right. All right. Same. But, all right. What else? ¿Qué más? Mayor, drama. 
Okay, college. El college. Uh, hay una pequeña diferencia también. College. Aquí tenemos, creo que solo el. El Kitka. Pero es como un college. Que es como un. Como un técnico. No sé si habrá otro. No sé si habrá otro ya después de la. Del high school. Por ejemplo, viene la university. University, right? En la universidad es, son carreras de qué? Cuatro o cinco años. Ok. Eh, hay algunos diplomados, right? Para uh, ITCA, por ejemplo, no sé si ya tiene ingenierías, pero antes solo creo que tenía como técnicos, right? For, eh, for different, in, in diferentes áreas, right? In different areas. So that is a college. Ok. Como una technical school. Uh, let me see what else. After college, and her style, well, become I need the money, and what do you think? Okay. Good. Now we're going to have uh, Gabriela, you're going to be Melissa. And Carlos, you are Chuck. Okay. Chuck, okay. Chuck is como un, uh, como un <coughs> nickname de Charles or Charlie. Okay, Chuck. Okay, go so ahead. Chuck, where, so, Sorry. Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born uh, there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In... In 1990, uh, I went to college here. Oh, what's your, what, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five, five years after the college. That's interesting. So why did you become a higher stylist? Higher stylist. What? Hire, hire stylist. Hire stylist. Yes. Because okay. I needed, I needed the money. I love, I love it. I look, I love it to look. Uh, what, what did you see? Well, oh. <laughs> well, uh, who knows? <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, Jose, you're going to be Chuck, and Edith, you're going to be Melissa. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you be become a hair stylist? Hair stylist. 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 Because I need the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe good, maybe bad. Okay, good. Then we have a, uh, just remember, look at the questions. Where did you grow up? Past tense. Uh, I was born there. Uh, when did you come to Los Angeles? Uh, what was your major? Questions in past tense, okay? What was your major? Um, why did you become a hair stylist? And this is present, what do you think? Okay, so then uh, remember and keep in mind the questions structure. For five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hair stylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. 
Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past did. After that we need to add the subject you. Next we include the verb in the present tense grow up. Finally we can add a complement. In this case there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Now it's your turn to practice making WH chart, but now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now, right? We're going to practice questions um, in pairs. And uh, we have three, six, Nine, eleven, twelve. Okay, thirteen. Uh, I'm going to make some groups, and then in those groups, you are going to practice, a, for example, the um, pronunciation, and then you're going to ask questions like where were you born, 
where did you grow up? What, uh, etc. When did you graduate? Where did you study? Okay, use questions in past tense. Use in did or where or was in your questions. Okay. Preguntas de qué vamos a hacer en los grupos. No, ok. Preguntas, ¿verdad? Preguntas para ustedes, entre ustedes. Se van a cuestionar entre ustedes mismos que están en el grupo. Where did you grow up? What did you do? Where were you born? When, when, when is your birthday? Eh, si ya pasó, what did you do for your birthday? Ok. And where did you study? When did you graduate? Only questions in past tense. Okay, let's see when I make up four groups, five groups. There you go. Let me check. Good. Um, I guess. Maybe, um, Okay, here we go. Now, please accept your invitations. Hoy voy a preguntar yo a cualquiera. Eh, ok. Where, 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 where you born? No, when was she, she born? When was? Ajá. She, she born. born. Uh -huh. uh, 
she was born in in San Juan Opico. Y aquí están preguntando fecha. Ah, when. When. ah ok. When. 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 I'm sorry. Where. Uh -huh. Uh, she was born in 1990, maybe. That's good. Okay. You can also ask questions using did. Remember, okay, where, uh, for example, Edith, where did you study your high school? I was study. Uh, college. Mm -hmm. A college. Where, where, huh, where, where did you study? They say, I studied in, uh, in a, well, you say, for example, a school, because uh, in, in English, college, la palabra colegio no, no la usa, right? They use college. Es para escuela técnica, right? So then you can use, I studied uh, at, in a school, para ellos todas son escuelas, there's no, ah, okay. okay, just the name, okay, you say I studied in school, only, okay, good, for example, Johanna, De acuerdo. where did you graduate, when, when, when did you graduate, when, mm -hmm. when, when did you graduate, you say I graduated, I graduated. Um, sería una fecha. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> no me acuerdo. <laughs> <laughs> La, you just invent, no, no tiene que ser cierto. Okay. Um, sería 20. 2006. 2006. Uh, 20, six. 2006. Yes. Okay, 2006, right? Say, I yes. graduated in 2006. Okay, good. Okay, so you can use where did you, where did you go, where did you grow up? They say, I grew up in Santa Ana, I grew up in San Miguel, okay, different places. Okay, okay, okay. continue practicing. Okay. Uh, are you had you had brothers or sister? Uh, one brother and one sister. Brother and sister. Yes. Okay. Uh, was uh, no. Yes. Where? Where were you? Where were you? Her, her brother? Where were you born? Where were her you born? Brother. Uh -huh. where were oh, you? Where, no, where yeah. was your brother born? Where, where? Where, where, where was? was? Where was your brother born? Where, where was? Where was? Where was? Where was? Ah, see, sí, see. Sí. Where was you born? No, no, no. Where? Okay, there are two forms. Where were you born? Para ella. Okay, and where was your brother born? Es para el hermano de ella. Ah. Where were you born? Uh -huh, Aha, that's Sarai. Okay, where, where were you born? Where were you born, Sarai? Where were you born? He was born. No, you. Where were you born? Uh, I was born in San Salvador. Okay. And where was your brother born? He was born, teacher, in uh -huh. 2000, 2000 in English. <laughs> no, but where? Where was he born? Donde, verdad? Uh huh. Exactly. Ah, and uh, he was born in San Salvador. Okay. Ahora, okay. Two, is it 2000? 2000 is in English, 2000. 
2000. And now, okay. where, when was he born? When was he born? Okay. He was born. Ahora va la fecha. When oh. was he born? He was born 2000. In 2000. In 2000. Okay. okay, very good. Okay, perfect. Okay, Va. teacher. See you la practica, all right? Good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we have here. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, ambos, no. <laughs> no. Eh, I, am, I, am, I am separate. Separate. Uh, and separate. separate, yes. Okay, okay. So, for Juan. And eh. separate eh, uh, from tips For I have been separate for six years, for 10. For, for six years? For six years, uh -huh. I have been separate for six years. I saw no single. Um, okay. <laughs> en cinco. No. Se ve claro otra 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 idea. Because. Why? Okay, that's the question. Um, I'd like that to Juan. Okay, no sé si está correcto. Why am glad you wedding? When was your wedding? When was your wedding? Si sí está correcto. Okay. When was your wedding? Okay. Juan? When was your wedding? Ajá. ¿Cuándo fue su boda? Eh, sí, sí, ahorita. Ah, ok. okay. Eh, 25 de diciembre. ¿Cuándo? ¿December? En diciembre. En diciembre. 26. Ok, muy bien. On December 26. Excellent. Okay, well, continue with the questions. Hey, Carlos, when was your um, graduation? Your gra graduation. When graduation. Was... Okay, when was your graduation? <laughs> graduation. E <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue with the practice. Four years. Oh. How many? No, no, es así la pregunta. Quiero ver cómo la formula. Ya no hay yo sin palabras, el teach. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Where, no, where did, did you born? Where were you born? Where in, were you born? Mm -hmm. In San Salvador. In San Salvador. Uh, yeah, I live in Soyapango. And I live in San Salvador. In Soyapango, okay. Actually, yes. Very good. Nice. And okay. you? Hmm. Finish. No, continue, no. continue, continue. I'll be, no. ah, okay. I'll visit another group. Jocelyn. Eh, what was... What was your favorite music in the 1990s? 1990. I was listened um, pop. Okay, I listen to pop music. To pop music. I listen to pop music. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, How do you? How did you celebrate Valentine's Day? Uh, okay, it's a good question. <laughs> uh, yes, I was 
I was um, went to the restaurant with my boyfriend. Okay. Okay. So it was a uh, dinner. Oh, I went. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very nice. And Continue with the practice. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. you have um. Uh, why did you become a ¿Qué es usted? Profesor de matemática. No. No hay. No, 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 I am not. No, I am not. Es que para preguntarle que, que cuando inició en su profesión, pero no sé qué, qué es. I am a the, uh, computer technician. Okay, why did you become a computer computer technician? Oops, uh, because I um I like the computer. I like fix computer. Fix. Yo de que aprender más vocabulario. Exacto. Ya estamos en el grupo grande. Sí. Okay, almost. Okay, let's go back to the group then. Okay, see you in one minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened with the others? Profe, para estar actualizado sería how were you San Valentin? How was? How was? How was your Valentine's? Uh -huh. How was your Valentine's? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, people. What is the comments? What fue la experiencia? What did you find out? Easy, difficult, more practice, more vocabulary, more what? I'm gonna For me, that. I need to learn more vocabulary. Okay. I think you see this is, uh, for example, eso va a ser toda la vida cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma. Okay, el vocabulario. Tres formas de aprender vocabulario. Leer, right? Escuchar, mm -hmm. escuchar, okay, for example, reading books, leer, leer artículos, leer lo que sea en inglés, que le guste ¿va? para que se sienta motivado. Cuéntanos subtítulos de la película. Mm, <risa> sí, 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 o sea, si los, no, pero si no, no los subtítulos, no que los uh, captions, ¿verdad? inglés, inglés. Sí, caption en inglés, ¿verdad? Ajá, English, English, o sea, también la película mm -hmm. en inglés y la están leyendo en inglés, cuenta. Eh, let's say, uh, leer un cuento, leer uh, un artículo pequeño de, qué sé yo, 200, 300 palabras. Eh, el, uh, escuchar música y ver, las, y ver las letras, por ejemplo. Ahí es lo mismo que, el, que leer los subtítulos. ¿no? O sea, en Spotify, creo, si lo, hay varios ahora eh, reproductores de música, como Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, no sé qué otros donde pueden escuchar la canción y ver la letra, ¿ok? Entonces, esa es otra manera. De... Y, la, y la última, obviamente, que es, bueno, la otra es hablarlo, o sea, ponerlo en, para ponerlo en práctica, ¿ok? And then, uh, o también escribirlo. So, son las cuatro, digamos, habilidades básicas, ¿okay? pero la, adquirir vocabulario se adquiere a través de la lectura y del oído, ¿ok? Ojos y oídos. Y para... 
producir es a través del habla y de la escritura. ¿Ok? Pero si primero, para, bueno, si un niño, ustedes ven que un niño, por ejemplo, lo primerito que hace, los primeros dos, tres años, no habla. Pero solo está recibiendo el input, o sea, ese, de, ¿cómo que se llama? El, 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 ¿Cómo se dice input en Spanish? El, como un, información. Como la información, ajá, que le está dando solamente de recibirla. Y de repente la procesa y empieza a hablar, right? So then that is similar with us. Eh, la ventaja que nosotros tenemos ahora es que ya también a la edad que cuando aprendemos, eh, tenemos después de los 5 o 6 años, que ya podemos leer. Entonces ya se hace pues, a través de los ojos y a través de los ojos. Eh, y se van agarrando, eso es para agarrar la comprensión, la estructura del inglés y todo eso. Y luego poco a poco se va adquiriendo el vocabulario. Por medio de, ve una palabra que le gusta, que le atrae, y se la aprende. El, y luego agarra una palabra que le gusta, dos o tres palabras al día, pero póngalas en una oración suya, lo que yo les digo siempre, es ¿okay? una oración de lo que hacen en el día a día. ¿Ok? Entonces, este, y eso, y ahí lo interioriza más fácil el vocabulario que estar memorizando o repitiendo palabras, ¿ok? O sea, digamos, como estrategias de, para aprender lenguaje, para aprender vocabulario. ¿Ok? En the other one is, y eso que estaban haciendo ahorita, ¿ok? Con otra persona que están aprendiendo, o sea, mira cómo se dice esto, tratar de elaborar una pregunta, buscar las palabras, porque ahí es donde uno se da cuenta realmente qué palabra necesita. Cuando quiere hacer una pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, por ejemplo, ahí, ¿cómo se dice, eh, qué sé yo, este, ¿a dónde, a dónde fuiste ayer? Y fuiste, mira, el go, pero el pasado es went, este, where went, no, pero hay una pregunta, where did you go yesterday? Ah, ok, this is the correct one. Where did you have lunch yesterday? ¿Dónde almorzaste ayer? Then, that is the practice. Ok. So then, uh, practice and read. Ok, practice and read. Ok, so then, this is one. And, como les digo, ahora hay una gran ventaja. Okay. Tenemos internet, Netflix. Ok, que pueden ver. Eh, lo otro es, busquen una película que les guste mucho, mucho. Que la puedan ver varias veces. Y veanla una, una vez o dos si le gusta tanto, en inglés, solo inglés. Ok, y ya una tercera vez la pueden ver en español y van a ver la diferencia. Van a sentir la diferencia y van a, cuando quieran volverla a ver, ya la van a ver nuevamente. Van a ver, querer verla siempre en inglés. O sea, porque se va entendiendo mejor y se ve que realmente a veces la idea de la película está más, está más clara en inglés porque es el idioma original que en español. En español hay unas traducciones, unas interpretaciones que, que no es lo mismo. Pero es que a veces que ni los nombres de las películas pegan, ¿verdad? Deja el español. Entonces, por ahí va la cuestión. But that's the practice. Ok, questions. ¿Alguna otra duda o pregunta? Ahora, este, para el nivel en que están, por lo menos, cosas positivas. Todos tienen buena pronunciación, no sentido que aparece una palabra ahí de repente que, que a todos nos cuesta pronunciar, ¿verdad? Eh, yo cuando estaba pequeño en español me costaba pronunciar general, yo decía gerenal. <risa> y así nos pasa en inglés, cuando, me acuerdo que cuando, y en inglés tenía una que me costó un montón, que cuando siempre decía de engine, yo decía engine. Y ellos te mm. ah, engine of the car, me dijo, engine of the car is the engine. Entonces, este, siempre hay una palabrita de esas que nos... Pero no, eso no, no, no quiere decir que el resto, o sea, del, del inglés no se pueda pronunciar, ¿ok? Those are cases. Eh, de ahí luego, este, veo que la, la, la comprensión que tienen es buena y todo eso. Entonces, si lo único que les, lo único que les digo es, es la práctica. Y a veces la práctica se limita por el vocabulario. ¿Ok? So then, we're going to try this. Uh, tenemos tres días de... Uh, to do a lot of practice. Mañana vamos a hacer otros trabajos de grupo, okay? So that we can get ready. Okay? Practice the questions. Vuelvan a practicar las preguntas y mañana vamos a hacer otro tipo de preguntas, okay? So, yeah. have a good night. Acuerdo.
Okay, perfect. See you tomorrow and I wait to wait in chat. See you. See you, good See you teacher. Good, good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.